Welcome back to Big Chick Thrives, where you come for the fashion. But honey, I hope you stay, because you know I love you. Ah! Hello, hello, hello. Okay, uh, listen, listen y'all see y'all see what I'm feeling? Yeah, you see that? Yeah, it's Sunday, y'all. Listen, I am your host, Nitra. If you are new here, aka sugar mama honey you call me whatever you feel like calling me as long as it's sweet then we gonna be all right so listen on this channel i'm giving you all of my tips about steals deals all things thrifted honey whatever it is clearance if it's on a bargain i got you so listen if that is something you are into honey stay seated Go ahead and get you a sip, get your sip on, and let's enjoy the show. Today is going to be a thrifted CHKD and a Goodwill thrift haul. So I am doing a try on a couple of pieces, but I hope you enjoy. I found some really, really good pieces. And if that's something you're into, then let's go ahead and get started, honey. Okay, so as I said, this is going to be a CHKD slash Goodwill Hall. Now the CHKD um, is just a children's thrift store and all the proceeds go to help the children's hospital in this area. And of course, Goodwill, of course, does what Goodwill does. So we're going to start off with the outfit of the day because this was a piece from the CHKD and I will show you the tag because I went ahead and cleaned it up and took the tag off so that I could wear it, honey. I'm going to step back. This has pockets. It is an oversized or an I guess oversized shirt dress, but it is so cute, y'all. It has the pockets on it. Oh, so comfortable. It has these gold detailed buttons. And I'll make sure I try to do, it's white, so I can't get too close. It's washing it out. But there are these huge um, gold buttons, and there's this gold trimming. Let me give you some of that gold trim. Let me give you some of that gold trim they got right there. Girl, solid gold. Some of y'all know what solid gold is. I feel like a solid gold dancer, honey, from Hawaii. I feel like I'm going on vacation, but I'm going to call it a stay one, a staycation with my outfit on. I ain't going nowhere, but I'm cute. Ah, yes, yeah, sometimes you got to do that. So it has these really, really cute buttons. And of course, it has these pockets. And it's perfect for right now. It has a little slit here, girl, because if you're feeling it, go ahead and do it. I I love it. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to try to put a full screenshot. I just threw on some Crocs with it, y'all, because I ain't going nowhere. But I will try to show you the full outfit. But this one was $3.99. It was a size large. Of course, there's the L. But it was $3.99. And I could not believe somebody had this in a thrift store. It is a vintage piece. Um, I think it was Julissa. Julissa was the brand, but it's one of those old school tags where the size is like in the, the numbers instead of the letter large. Vintage. This is a bop right here. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah, I'm going to step back and give you a little curtsy. I'm going to go ahead and curtsy for you. That, that's what this one is, honey. This one's a good one. It's very comfortable, but it fits just perfect. And if you just want to run out, and run some errands. I can throw on some sandals, some boots, some booties in the winter. Throw this on and have on a nice pair of baggy, baggy, oversized distressed jeans and be good to go. But today, I just wanted to show you guys this one for the wear. It also has the gold trimming on the arm and all around the piping of the actual dress. But I just, I just think it's so um, chic and so simple and y'all know that's what i'm all about but most importantly it is comfortable so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and start with our haul y'all because it's a cute one okay so we're gonna start with our chkd um you know what we're gonna start off with goodwill because we're gonna go ahead and do that but 
I know some of you are asking. I know I said I was going to, if you watch my vlog, I was going to braid my hair this weekend. But there was a hurricane, a small hurricane or, or tropical storm coming. And the power was flickering on and off. And I just didn't have the patience to sit around and worry about whether the power was going to be flicking off and on while I was doing my hair. So I just went on ahead and did it, y'all. I went on ahead and did it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I purchased a wig from Wigs and Wonderlust on her Poshmark store. If you haven't checked her out, make sure you check my girl out. She is outstanding. But she sells her units after she reviews them on Poshmark. And I just wanted to bless a small business. Um, and sh to me, that is considered a small business because I have my own. Um, but she reviews the wigs on her channel and she reviewed this wig. And I said, Lord, if that is for me, if that is who you want me to bless, come on, make it easy. And I went on there, y'all, and that wig was sitting right there and poop just as fast as I could. It is a seven by five um, pre cut pre-dyed uh, body wave wig. It's nothing spectacular fancy. It has the um, band in the inside and it's just one of those throw on and goes. And when I mean throw on and go, I mean just that. Do y'all see? <laughs> okay. Come on, we'll get a little closer. Do y'all see? No, you don't see. Y'all don't see how seamless. Poop, it, like, I mean, bibbity bobbity Girl, you did that. Boom, you did that. And it just came out so good. It took me literally 15 minutes to do yesterday. It was already cut. She kind of cut the lace already when she does the review. So that part was easy. So all I did was, of course, she had already washed it up. All I did was wand curl it and threw it on. And I did my baby hairs with some with that same gel I showed you guys uh, or, or hold. And this was it. And it's been like this for a couple of days. I wand curled it, I think, day before yesterday or yesterday. One of the two. And this is a unit you can take off at night. It is not glued on. I can take it off whenever I feel like it. But, y'all, let me turn around. Oh, y'all, this one is a winner. This one is a winner, y'all. Let me know if you like this unit. Let me know if you like this look. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I figured I would just do this until I figured out what I want to do. Uh, but this is cute and it's not hot. It's one of those aerated, they consider it an aerated wig where the wig actually you can put your fingers through. So it's not the actual lace throughout. It actually breathes. And every time you get a good breeze, you're going to get some airflow in there. So it's not like you're going to be stinking up under you. <laughs> y'all but i just wanted to throw that out there if you have any questions leave me a comment and i'll be sure to answer your question but the wig was from you nice hair so check out you nice hair and like i said it's a seven by five body wave um unit nothing fancy but it's called the pre-cut pre-dyed lace and this is a 24 inch and it's just perfect it's just perfect so it's going to be like this for the rest of the week. So I hope you like it. But let me know in the comments what you think. Now let's go ahead and get into the haul. Okay, so listen, we're going to start off with the Goodwill. But I have a couple pieces mixed in in the end of Goodwill because I went out of wear crazy. Like it's almost that time of the year. So I try to purchase things ahead of time. So when you do um, do that, you kind of get better deals and better sales because they had the color of the day at Goodwill was blue. So I tried to find pieces that um, I knew I would get 50% off with. And I tried to find pieces that I know that I could wear or potentially if you guys would like them, want to purchase them on Poshmark. So I'm in the mindset now that I don't just buy things just to be buying it, to be cute. Like it's really got to be a really nice piece, but something simple. I'm not talking about nothing too extravagant and fancy, but I know things that year round we can pull out year round and this piece is my beginning and i'll show you why as a matter of fact i'll start off with the accessories so then you'll see why i got those pieces now these accessories i did get from goodwill and chkd i will let you know which one it is which or what store if you are in the virginia beach area the chkd was on virginia beach boulevard across from hall honda and the Goodwill that I went to is in Lynn Haven Mall Shopping Center. So it's right on the outskirts of the mall. 
Because if you're going in the mall, honey, you know you're going to spend that crazy money. So I stick to the Goodwill on the outside. Now, this first piece is a pair of earrings that I thought were so adorable. When I walked in the door, I always check out the jewelry first in stores like this. Goodwill does not tend to have a lot of jewelry pieces. I'm not sure why, whatever the reasoning is. So when, when I go to Goodwill, I go straight for the shoes. So that's a tip. When you go into Goodwills, if you want to find a good pair of shoes, go to the shoes first. Because I found out in Goodwill that the hours are changing. I don't know about your area, but check your hours and your, your time. But this is the first piece that I got. Look how big those are, y'all. Look how chunky and, and fat. Oh, these are so luxurious. Look how cute. This is just a simple pair of gold tone. And they have to be about an inch and a half large. You see that? So they're noticeable, but not heavy. They're not like, you You know, you ain't your fat gold chain. You're like, you, ain't, you don't look crazy wearing a pair of these. These would look really, really beautiful with what I have on now. Or if you had your hair tied up in a ponytail, which would be so on point. Now, these were $6.98 at the CHKD. And if you see tags like this, usually the CH, I can pretty much tell you what store it came from because I've been doing this so long. But um, this was just sitting in the jewelry section and they had a second pair, but I didn't need both pair of gold earrings. But I love the chunkiness of those, but I love the weight. The weight of these are so awesome because they're very stylish. Very chic and on trend with what's happening now with jewelry and earrings. Um, they're just really, really classy. And it's just that simple latch. See that latch? You just stick them in and go. You don't even have to worry about finding a back for it. But I thought these were really, really cute and really chic and on point with what's going on right now. But these are the type of timeless earrings that you can wear year round. Honey, you throwing a turtleneck and a, and a cardigan with this. Put, pin that hair back. Yeah. Going to be good. It's going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the next piece. And these came from Goodwill. So hold on. All right. So now my next accessory is going to be from Goodwill. Now these, <laughs> like I don't know what it is with, and I, I know what it is because God is good. That's what he is. So I ain't going to say I don't know what it is. But. I will say I thank him because every time I go in Goodwill, I can be looking for something on the Internet, just kind of doing my research, seeing what is um, what I like and things. And I will start putting things in baskets online in preparation to, you know, think about purchasing them. And then all of a sudden I'll go to Goodwill and it'll be sitting right there. Y'all look what I found. Another pair. It's. I love these and the, I think I get I'm so blessed because I can wear a kid's shoe so when I purchase um, shoes sneakers I can buy women's shoes I can buy kids shoes so I have a, a wild range that I can like you know zone in and out of as far as like the sections to find shoes that's why I think I get so lucky and, and I'm so blessed with finding shoes I have so many pairs of shoes. I've actually been selling them on Poshmark and it's doing really good. So make sure you check out Sugar Mama VA on Poshmark. But these, I thought these were, I don't own a pair of um, black and orange Air Force Ones. Now I do have a black and I painted them orange pair of Jordans that I turned into that color. But this, these stood out a lot. Now this is a kid's shoe. Um, it is a size seven in kids. I just thought these were so cute. And, and I, I take it the kid grew out of the shoe or what have you. But I thank him. <laughs> I thank you, mom, for whoever dropped these off. But let me know what you think about these. And I think there was a little scuff here. So, but listen, I'm grown. I don't care about no scuff. I'm going to throw on this. And if you're looking at that scuff and worry about that scuff, then I need you to focus. To the focus. My heart is here. My heart is here, not here. But <laughs> I just love when I find stuff like this because that one thing could be the reason. That one small thing could be the reason somebody would be like, nope, sorry, don't want these no more. And somebody like me would be like, yep, 
right on time. So I think that in the winter time, especially wearing these with baggy distressed jeans or camo, camo, dis uh, baggy camo jeans, a large pair. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do that. But I thought these were so cute. And of course, I own so many of these, so I know they're comfortable. But I hope you guys like them. Let me know what you think um, about like getting stuff like this. Would you buy something with a little scuff um, on the sneaker? Now, I did clean these up and disinfect them. Um, I did take you guys along with me to Goodwill. In the um, So next Thursday, you'll be able to see the actual haul of me in Goodwill. And I'll try to post a little bit of it on here. But I love these shoes. I think they're really, really special, really comfortable. And for the price, I paid $7.99. Used on Poshmark, you're going to pay $50 or more. But I paid $7.99 for these. So I hope you guys like them. Let me know what you think. They're really, really good at the bottom. They are not worn down. But I assume the little kid grew out of the shoe, whoever it was. But I appreciate you, whoever you are, honey, because I'm going to work these out for you. I'm going to show you how to get that scuff. Uh, and work it on now. So I hope you like it. Let me know what you think is and let me know what your favorite is throughout the haul. So let's get to our next couple of fashionable pieces. Okay, so for my first piece, we're going to do Goodwill, like I said, and I got that and I was going to show you that this was, I thought this was so cute. It's a Brooklyn, New York, of course. I know the family from, from New York. His dad was born in Brooklyn, representing that's it. But I love this color orange. Girl, you better catch you. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> but y'all know I'm crazy. And I love it. But it's a good crazy. Not the other one. But this is so fun, y'all. I thought this would be so cute with those sneakers. Let me get the sneakers. But I thought these would be so cute. Look how perfect that is. I mean, you, you can't make this stuff up. Well, I thought that would be so perfect. It is a cropped sweater and it's that um, thinner material. It's not that really thick cotton. Um, it is a cotton blend feel. It has a cotton feel. See the little bubbles in the inside, those little pieces of cotton. You can tell it's cotton. It's just not that heavy Hanes, heavy duty cotton, but it's all right. I just need it for something like the fall, of course. Especially when like when it's time to take the kids trick-or-treating or sitting outside passing out candy I can throw this on with those sneakers a pair of distressed jeans or a pair of black jeggings I'm not a big fan of white jeans. I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed I really don't do a lot of white jeans on this channel because I'm grown like it's just something about white I like it like this. This is okay, but I I generally don't wear a lot of whites. I love colors I don't have time to worry about whether I can touch something, something touch me. I'm a people person, so I can't stand to feel like I have to be sheltered when I'm doing something. So generally, I don't usually gravitate to white, but I thought this little um, shirt dress was so, so special because of the trimming and it was vintage and girl them pockets. You could take my money all day if you got some pockets. You put some pockets on the purse, you put some pockets on the jacket. I'm going to get it because it's got pockets. Like, that's just... It's a habit. It's, yep, I'm going to go ahead and put my name on the list. Yep, it's a habit. But I love pockets. I don't know about y'all. Y'all let me know if um if that's one of your deal breakers. Sometimes when I buy things like a dress or a, a, a pair of pants, if it don't have, if, if the pockets are full or fake, I would just leave it. But I thought this was really cute, you guys, and it has the band on the bottom. And like I said, it's just a crop style, so I can wear it several different ways. I, I'd love to wear this under a pair of baggy overalls with those sneakers because I already have some. I've showed you guys uh, back in the past. I may do an overall haul of some of the good ones that I have. Let me know if you want to see that, but I have some really good overalls and I love a good pair of overalls, especially in the winter. So I love this and I hope you guys like it, but let me know what you think in the bottom so far. Don't let me know what your favorite is and I'll see you guys for our next piece from Goodwill. So that last piece was from Goodwill and the tag was blue. Now the tags was blue. So generally the shirts are $5.99. So 
I only paid three because it was 50% off. Now this next piece, I'll go ahead and show you, is just a simple pair of, I don't want to say simple. I always say simple, but I think I just love simplicity of things because then you can decide whether you want to jazz them up or keep it simple. But I found these paper bag style pants and it has this like elastic band where you can kind of cinch it. It'll cinch in if you want to, or you can, of course, pull it down on your waist a little lower if you choose to. But it had this and it matches at the bottom. Now, I love these because if I wore those with those sneakers, you would definitely get the full effect of the sneakers. Now, you can, the reason why I love pants like this is because you can wear them with a pair of um, booties. You can wear them with a pair of sandals. It just depends on what you want your look to be. Now, me, I love a good baggy shirt with a crop top under it or a bralette. And just have that shirt open like a, and I'll probably, maybe that's the way I'll style this up today with, with the shirt I'm going to show you. And just leave the, the, um, the bralette out so you can see what I'm talking about. Or you just have one button and the shirt kind of just flows over these types of pants. But these pants are not stretchy at all, but they're just that balloon style, genie, more genie style pants. And they have this detailing from the 80s in the front. See that pleating in the front? And it kind of brings your waistline in or your stomach. If you have a little pooch, it'll pull that look in so it looks a little more tight and pulled together. So I kind of don't own a, a, a lot of these. I think I only have like one other pair and there's some shorts. But I saw these and I thought, hmm, you can do quite a bit with that. And what I want to do is... And I'm going to show you back in the days, I don't know if you guys remember, like I don't, I don't mind aging myself, honey. I'm finna, almost 50, so I ain't got time to be trying to help you figure out, yeah, I'm grown. But back in the 70s, they used to wear pants like this and they would tie ribbon on the bottom. And it was so cute to me. It was more of that soul train. I used to see it on soul train all the time, y'all. But they would have that, their pants, kind of that genie, a little baggy around the hip area and then at the bottom they would have on sandals and they would put ribbons whatever the, the top the color of your top was the ribbon would match that particular shirt and I thought that was so cute so I really want to do something like that but I have to go to the craft store to get some ribbon the ribbon that I have is really thin so I need it long enough to double up and really make a statement big enough to make a statement with and I got to find the right shirt that I want to wear with it but most of the time, it was always a body shirt, um, a fitting shirt, but I love this look. Let me know if you guys own a pair of these. I like this. Now, this has the faux pockets in the back, but the pockets in the front are functioning, so y'all know that was a win. So, these were also blue tag, and the pants at Goodwill are $6.99, so these were only $3.50 because they were 50% off. So... I just thought these were a uh, yes, ma'am. We're going to go ahead and get that. Go ahead. Yes, I'll have a, I'll take another one, please. Yes, and thank you. So I hope you guys like these and let me know what you're so far. What's your favorite piece? And we'll jump into our next fashionable piece from Goodwill. All right. So listen, my next piece was exactly what I was trying to explain to you guys. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is an oversized vintage um, women's and it's from a store called Impressions. Can you see that? And this is a size 24 W. And the reason I got this so oversized is because I can wear that this shirt exactly like I'm wearing this dress here. Now this is an actual shirt dress, but you guys have always seen me and I have previous videos. Um, I'll try to link them, but I always, and ain't nothing like a good oversized shirt, honey, because you can wear this winter, spring, summer, and fall. You can wear this as a shirt or you can wear it as a dress. I love either or in the summer, you can throw on a nice pair of distressed mini shorts or a short skirt, a mini skirt, and have this as the, the focal piece, honey. And when I tell you funky, 
Oh my gosh. I have done that uh, on videos, previous videos, but I love the color in this. You guys, look at the color. They don't make stuff like this no more. I, I don't know why. I wish they would. I wish somebody would. It, it's just, come on, y'all. This is so good. Look at that. Look how vibrant those colors are. And you can wear sneakers with this. You can wear sandals. It's so many wonderful things you can do with this. It's long enough to actually wear as a dress if you choose to. Of course, if you're taller, it's not going to be as long. It may be a little more mini for you, but it's a size 24. I'm literally a size 10. So it's going to be a oversized dress for me. Now I can tie this up several different ways and wear it as a crop. I can tuck it in. There are so many things I can do with this, but I'm probably going to throw it over those jeans just so you kind of see what I mean by uh, uh please uh I mean no offense to this but in California we used to call them cholos and they would stand on the corner and have that one button and the rest would be open and it was the dopest look ever and I used to love that when I grew up there I would see them standing there with they dickies on and they they tank top with that one button and the rest would be open and they'd be lean back baby you talking about fashion. See, fashion is indifferent. You got to look for it. But I love stuff like this. And like I said, it's the colors for me. And of course, like I said, you can wear this so many different ways. Just think outside of what you would normally do. You can go on and Google different ways to tie shirts. And it will show you, there are girls that will show you 17 different ways how to tie this and turn it into something completely. You can use pins, rubber bands. There are so many things you can do to make this so many different things. So, but I, like I said, I go for color because that's the first staple you want to look for. But this is outstanding. I hope you guys like it. And like I said, it's nothing like out of the, it's nothing too fancy that you won't be uncomfortable in. You know what I'm saying? It's comfortable, it's chic, and it's funky, y'all. So I hope you're thinking like, hmm, I see those all the time at Goodwill, but I never think, what can I do with that? You can tuck these inside your bra in the front. Tuck it. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to style it up and hopefully you guys see the couple of different ways that I'm going to show you how to tie this shirt. And you get so many wears out of it. But I hope you like it. And I have a pair of Nikes um, wedges that when I tell you it has every color in this, but yeah. And this one was $4.99 because it was not a blue tag. But I love this, y'all. Let me know what you think. Would you wear this? Have you ever worn it? And would you give it a try? So let's get into our next piece, you guys. Yes. So we are almost to the end, you guys. So my next piece is okay, fashion. Okay, fashion. I'm going to come on. Y'all come on with me. Now, some of you may get it, some of you won't. Some of y'all gonna get with it, and some of y'all won't, huh? Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all knew what I was going with that. Now this is just kind of like a poncho, just something so different and unique. It's kind of like what I'm gonna show you next, but half the version, and I'll show you what I mean. It's just a simple poncho, kind of throw over your shoulder type of deal. Now let's say if I had that black um, two piece set on. And I wanted to dress it up just a little. I would throw this over the shoulders. And maybe I'll show you guys what I mean when I try that set on. I'll try that on. And then I'll show you in the this part of the portion of the video. How if you just throw something like this over it. And it's just a poncho you throw over for color. This is just like your simple pop of color. Um, it's nothing spectacular. But it can really dress up and change the momentum of your outfit. So I could definitely just keep that casual, but if I wanted to throw on, because it's wide leg, if I wanted to throw on some booties or a pair of sandals and a nice cute little purse, if I threw this on with it and went out to lunch or dinner with the girls, this would fit so perfectly. Now this is handmade. It was, I'll show you the collar or the tag. It was $4.99. And I got this from the CHKD. It was $4.99. And this one was, I did read the tag. Look, here we go. And it was made in Mexico. 
Um, but I just think like that, 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 that bullfighting that, yeah. So if you just kind of throw it over your shoulders like that, I think this is so pretty. Um, Lord knows what it's really for, but what I saw was that, and I thought to throw on a nice chunky necklace, a nice chunky, like what I have on here, a nice chunky necklace. Yes, a nice chunky necklace with that. And I just thought it was so cute. Now, like I said, I have no idea what this is actually for, but that's what I'm going to use it for. So I'm always telling you guys, when you find something, think of ways that you can use it. Now, I'm pretty sure I could possibly make it into a skirt and, and tail up the streets because it's just as cute as it wants to be. It's, it could be a, definitely a mini skirt in the wintertime with a nice pair of tights and some thigh high boots. I'm on it. I'm on it. I am. But I always think of different ways that I can wear this. So I'm probably just going to throw it over that piece or throw it over this one just to give you an idea of how it would zhuzh it up. So let's go ahead and get to our next piece, you guys. Hope you like this one. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I didn't show you the pattern. Now this pattern is more tribal. And like I said, it was handmade. But I thought the colors were absolutely beautiful for this time of the year. It is fall. But look how beautiful that pattern is. I'll step back just a little. And all of that was hand did. It even has different patterns in the top. But I thought this was so pretty. And at first I thought it was a Christmas tree. <laughs> the bottom of the Christmas, but it's not. It's not. But like I said, I'm going to use it as a poncho, but I did want to show you how different the pattern is. See how it changes ever so often. It's just so pretty, but I thought the fringe was really beautiful for this time of the year. Now let's go ahead and get to the next piece, you guys. But I love this. That pattern is spectacular, you guys. Look at all those colors. I love it. Okay, so for my next piece, it's just a simple... Of course, once again, two-piece set that I found um, while we were out. When we went to the Living Museum over in Newport News, there was a thrift store right in the same parking lot as the Dee Dee's. Well, I went in there, y'all. And when I tell you I found some gems, I did. I did. And you guys have seen me wear something similar to this um, in a previous video. But I loved it so much when I saw this one, I wasn't going to let it go. Now, it's just a two-piece jogger set, and it has the, like, rippled um, lining here. But it's more like a fleece material here. But the neckline is very simple. It's not a pajama set, It's but it's so soft. It is really, really soft. Now, this piece was also $12.99 at the CHKD, which to me was fair because it was two pieces. So it was almost like paying $6 or $6.50 for each piece. Um, but to me, it was it's the feel and how comfortable this thing is. It This feels so soft. Um, I can wear that. Well, I wouldn't wear it to the gym because I'll show you the bottoms are wide leg pants. And y'all know I've really been into wide leg pants. Like it's Something slimming about a wide leg pant that does it for me. It makes me look taller, slimmer. It's just a really sleek look for me. Now, when I wear jeggings, honey, you're going to get all these curves. I'm going to take you all around the world with these curves because that's all, that's all I got. Like, But with wide leg pants, I can hide that multitude of seeing. Come on, Jesus, with a wide leg pant. As long as you get it. Tail or not tailored, but to your size. So as long as you're not getting them tight, where of course it's gonna show your hippie. You don't want your hip ratio to look wider and it's pulling the pant leg out at the bottom. Make sure they fit. But these are a wide leg pant, and it's that same fleece material. Um, but I, I just think it's so soft, and there's that line straight down the middle that kind of keeps it. Makes it a little more fancy. Gives it a little more umph and zhuzh. Um, but I thought this was perfect. It already has the slot, <laughs> the slits cut on the side. Uh, forgive me. Here we go. I did not cut those myself. 
so somebody was looking out for me but I love a good slit on the side because that frees up the space where your hips are when you wear I don't know um, if you guys have noticed but when you wear most sweaters t-shirts they're all cut like a box at the a square at the bottom and I either cut them all with the slit on the side because it frees. I have, I'm a hippie girl. When born, I was born in the 70s, so I was born hippie. You get it. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I have just always been hippie. So I've always cut all of my shirts up the side. Now, my t-shirts, I will cut that other angle, which is called that half moon, and give it more of that feminine like half moon shape at the bottom because it kind of accentuates your waist, but at the same time, it really makes you look a lot more feminine than these boxy t-shirts. So when they, I saw that cut and that slit, I was like, okay, yeah, God knew that was for me. And it was, so I hope you like it. It's just, like I said, really comfortable, really chic. I can throw this on with a pair of heels if I want to dress it up, or I can throw some sneakers on. I can throw those sneakers I just showed you on and be ready. Nice jewelry. It don't take much. When you got it, it don't take much. Don't make it take. It ain't much. Just do it. I like it. I hope you guys like it. But let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you for my next piece. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying the haul so far. So we're going to jump into a little bit of the CHKD part portion of the haul. And like I said, I'm going to sprinkle a couple of Goodwill pieces. I think it's only one. but I have a piece, but it's a, it's a jacket, so I want to put it with the jackets. Now, this particular piece, I'm starting off with this one, y'all. I can't wait. I can't do it. But this, I think, is something so, so out of my element, but right up my alley. Like, the jumper, everybody loved that one-piece jumper. I've been having that for years, and I love stuff like that because they're so comfortable. It's a no-brainer. You don't have to think about it. The top is already connected to the bottom. All you have to do is iron it and go on about your business. And I found this one. You guys, come on. I'm going to take you back. Now, this may not be for everybody, but it's for somebody. And it's me. I, listen, if it's you, let me know in the comments, sexy girl. This is by um, an, a vintage brand called Vivian Karen. It has the numbers, of course. Back then, they did not do large and smalls. Um, and this one was $12.99. Now, I was willing to pay the $12.99 because I knew the quality. Um, vintage, the quality, you cannot get past the quality on a vintage piece. Now, this piece has this beautiful, um, bar, is it Barclay or Boucle? Uh, it's just, it's knitted in. So it's not like it's ironed on. This has, it's just outstanding. Look how pretty that is, y'all. It's gold, of course, gold and black. It has the gold hardware. And I love how feminine these, this collar is. You see all of these ruffles? They don't do that no more. And it is a quarter length sleeve. Now for me, it may go all the way down to my arms because I'm not that tall. I'm only 5'3 for reference. but. This, y'all, come on, get into this. Like, this is straight 80s goodness. This is so good. And it's a, just a one-piece romper or one-piece set. It does have pockets. Y'all already know. Y'all know. I'm going to step back a little, and it is a pants set. And it's just like the other one that I had on um, in the last, the last video. So if you like this one, I know you're going to love this one. And it has that, that rayon silky blend to it. So it's really thin. I can wear it now in the summer. I can wear it in the fall. And in the winter, if I just throw on some tights under it, I'll be just fine. Honey, but you throw on those earrings, those, those bold earrings that I made myself. Pin my hair up. I'm going to do it to them. I don't know where I'm going to do it to them at. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it big too. But I love this, you guys. This has these shoulder pads in it, and you know it's good when it's got a good shoulder, because I feel a little bit taller when my, little, when my shoulders is up a little bit higher. Come on, Jesus. Yeah, but I thought this was so good. Like, they don't make this no more. They just don't do that. And, of course, you just unbutton this here and step in it, and you're good to go. So, 
I thought this was so, so good. Look at that, y'all. And of course, though, it's not a complete um, thin. It's not a wide leg, but it is that boot cut. Good pair of heels. Good pair of booties. You can throw on a cardigan over this in the winter or the fall. Girl, somebody invite me somewhere. Girl, call me. I, I'm coming. I'm going to wear this. Just make sure there's somewhere I can wear this too. So we can go to brunch. We can go to dinner and be just as cute. Girl, with the... I hope y'all like this one. I really like this. And I think this is my favorite out of all the pieces. And I hate to say that already, but I really love the pieces that I got. Because that colorful shirt, honey, is everything. It's already one of the favorites. But I love this because it's so different. But at the same time, it is me. So I love it because of the comfortability. Is that a word? It is because I said it. But y'all, I like this. Let me know what you think. Would you wear this? I know I am. And I hope you like it. So I'm going to make sure I put how I just threw it on and styled it up with a cute little purse. And let me know what you think. Now let's get to our next piece. All right. So listen, our next pieces are outerwear. And like I said, a lot of the pieces I found were, to me, more fall or winter pieces. Um, of course, some of the pieces I could get away with now because it's starting to get a little chillier here. Um, I think that weather kind of brought in a little breeze to the area. But uh, I love a summer. So listen. It's whatever God wanted to be. I'm just going to adjust. That's what we going to do. So my next piece is this awesome, awesome bomber jacket, but a little bit different, y'all. I have a lot of bomber jackets, but I do not have one like this. And I'm going to step back just a little so you can see what I mean. This is a long, it's not necessarily a trench. It's not that long, but it's a mid-length bomber jacket. And I thought this was I've never heard of the brand. It's called Rocio. Um, it just says design in California, but I thought this was, this came from Goodwill. So um, if you see the little tag here, this was $6.99 from Goodwill because the coats were $6.99. So it has this little ruching here. So if I want to cinch my waist in, I can, but I just, when I put this on, it fits so perfectly. Now I can wear this as a raincoat. Um, it's so thin, but at the same time, it has enough zhuzh to it that if I want to wear it in the fall, I'll be just fine. But I thought this over a pair of jeans, jeggings, um, faux leather pants, faux leather pants. Yeah, that's how we're going to do that. And it has really, really cute pockets at the bottom. But I thought this was so unique and different from what I have. I have a lot of bomber jackets. I love a good bomber jacket, but I did not own a midi length bomber jacket. But I thought this style, um, it's black and it has this, this black edge here with the green, the army green. And can you imagine these with some army fatigue pants on with a cute little uh, orange? Come on, y'all. <laughs> Love it. I mean, I just love how fashion can dictate, you know, so many different ideas and ways to do something. I can wear this so many different ways, but I thought for $7.99, this were, or $6.99, this would be so cute to add to the regime. Mmm, the regimen. Mmm. I like it. I like it, y'all. You ever buy something? And then when you get it home, you see it again. You be like, yeah, I like that. And sometimes you buy something, you be like, I should have never bought this. This one of the ones, I like this. I do. I really do. And I'm going to just throw it on, of course, over this when I style it, just to show you guys. So you will see me with it on in full length. But I'm going to try the outerwear on. I just thought this was so cute, y'all. Very simple, but very chic. So let me know what you think, and we'll go ahead to our next couple of pieces. Okay, so for this one, this is what I mean by bomber jacket. Now, I had my favorite, favorite bomber jacket, but it had its last couple of days. I had to go ahead and put it out the pasture, and I was looking for another one. Now, I wore this jacket so much, the strings were, were, were falling apart. I love it. In the fall, when I go to work, 
to throw on just a bomber jacket on top of just my regular work attire, which is just pretty much leggings and t-shirts, baby, it just makes my day because I don't have to have all that material. These things move with you. I love how these don't chop you up and make you look like a little boy when you wear them. These still kind of give you that feminine look with, if you wear it properly. And this one was from Dee Dee's um, when I did go to Dee Dee's because it was in the same parking lot as that Goodwill. Now, this particular bomber jacket was $17.99. And to me, it was worth it because I get a lot of wear. Like y'all going to see me in the video the whole fall with this jacket on i need I, I got it specifically for that reason i have different colors but i needed another black one um and i've been looking in goodwill for them but they were either too big too small or they had a, a hoodie on it it was too much going on with it so i just kept on the lookout so when i saw this one i tried it on and it fit perfect there are lots of pockets on this one so it made it even better so there's a really deep pocket on this side and on this side and I just thought it was so comfortable um, not a lot of muss and fuss just something I needed for simplicity so I hope you guys like it because it this will match of course black and it has this elastic band here versus the itchy collars it sometimes they do too much with a bomber jacket I just needed a simple one and all of the edges the trims match and that's all I needed. So I hope you guys like this. We won't spend too much time on it. I will try it on for you just to show you the look. So I hope you guys enjoy. But make sure you add a bomber jacket to your repertoire this fall because it's going to take you a long way. No muss, no fuss. Grab it and go. You can get this wet. It you just going about your business. And I like that. So let me know what you think if you have one already. And is this one of your staples for the fall and winter? Let's go to our next piece, you guys. I just wanted to show y'all my glasses. Can you tell I'm feeling this hell? Ah, oh, I know y'all look. I, instant, instant chic, instant. But I'm going to show you my next piece because I really, really love it. I saved it for the last piece. It is another poncho. The queen of the ponchos. Come on, uh, Jesus keep them coming i love a good poncho y'all and this one hold on i gotta take these off because i got to see what i'm saying y'all got to see what i'm saying with these this i do not own anything in this color now i have a lot of ponchos but i do not have one like this honey this has that cow neck and it has that um flanneled look and it Y'all, I came talk. This thing is so good. Now, the shoulders kind of taper off here, just like the square. I'll step back a little. And it has this square detailing here. But the cool part about this poncho, can you see, it's already has the seam on the inside and the pocket. There are pockets here. Can you see that? Never have I ever. Y'all, where I been? This thing has pockets already. So when you put your hands here, I can be hands free and throw whatever I need in the pockets. Where I been, y'all? This is so wonderful. There are pockets on both sides. This is fantastic. And like I said, there's this, it's, it's I find the simplest, chicest things in the Goodwills, in the thrift store. This, I have never even thought to pockets on the side of a, a poncho. Ah, oh, I love it. Now that's all I'm going to be looking for. And if you have some, let me know because you ain't tell me about it. But this usually has the pockets on the front. Usually when you wear a poncho, they always put the pockets on the front. And if I step back, there are no pockets on this. So at first I was like, I don't know if I should get this. But honey, when I saw them pockets on the side, I knew it was for me. And it was the color. Now I own quite a few ponchos. I, I'm not sure if you guys have ever checked out when I first started um, doing my channel. I used to find these all the time and I kind of stopped buying them because I had so many. So now when I buy it, it has to be special because my favorite one, and I'll show you guys one day, I showed on the channel, I found a trench coat poncho. 
and it's still to this day my favorite poncho. But this is right on time. This fit right into the family. But this color, look how vibrant. It's really thick and, and luxurious. Um, I don't, it doesn't have a tag, so I'm not aware or sure of what the material is. It feels like wool. It's very sturdy. Very good. Like when the winter come, I'm going to be all right. Now this with a pair of jeans, jeggings, super good. I could even throw some blue tights on and be just fine because this thing is going to come down probably a little bit above my knees. So I'm going to be good. So a nice pair of tights, um, jeggings, leggings, boots. These are going to be good. Now I do not own a pair of blue boots. So I'm on the hunt for a nice pair of Either knee high, thigh high, um, dark and navy blue boots, because this would be so good. But I love this cow neck detail, and I can, it looks as if there's no tag, so it looks as if I can wear this on either side. Like if I put it on one side, it's not gonna be backwards. It, it's that's how unisex or oversized this is. But this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I just love the color, and like I said, look how deep that navy is in that. But I thought this was so beautiful. But y'all them pockets. Sold. Yep, take my money. Yep. But I think this is so special. Um, and like I said, it's really, really well made. Um, whoever it was took the tags. Uh, it says 100%. I can't see. Honey, that's too little. And I ain't got my glasses on. So we're going to just go with whatever the tags say. But the um, as far as like the sizing, it looks as if it's one size fits all. But this, I think, is one of my favorites for now. But I'm definitely going to put it in with my ponchos and get this thing going. When the weather changes, y'all, we're going to have some fun with this one. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Let me know, like, is this your jam? Is your jam? Do you do you hear the music? Yes, I yes, girl, I hear the music. I love this, you guys. But let me know what you think. Now, this one was. Did I show you the price? This one was twelve ninety nine. But like I said at the time when I bought it, I definitely thought it was worth it because, like I said, the material is. I don't know. It's got to be wool or something because it's so heavy and. It's just one of those that it, it winter time is the only time you can wear this. You're not gonna be wearing this in the fall. You're not gonna be. This is good. Like this is a whole quilt. Like I can wear this on the patio when it start getting a little chilly. I don't need no blanket. This is what this is right here. But I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. If you found ponchos or if you even wear ponchos, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next clip because I'm going to be telling you my favorite part of the video. So I hope you have been enjoying yourself. And I'll see you guys in a few. Yes, 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 yes. You have made it to the end of the video, you guys. And I thank you so, so much. Listen, I can't thank you enough. Yes, I can. Thank you, honey. I love you and I appreciate you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed the way I styled the few pieces that I have. I tried to keep it simple, but at the same time, I try to show you guys simple is chic, y'all. Simple is chic because you can do whatever you want to it. dress it up or dress it down, honey. Don't, don't be thinking. If you're thinking too hard, don't wear it. Don't wear it because then you're going to be uncomfortable in it. So I love you. I hope I gave you some really, really good ideas for this upcoming fall and winter. And I hope you enjoy your day, honey. You look cute, girl. Go ahead. Where you going today? Let me know where you going today. But I do want to say that I love you. I hope you had a wonderful day. Make sure you let me know what your favorite piece out of the haul was. And if you have a small business, the same way I show some love to my girl Wigs and Wanderlust on Poshmark and on YouTube. Make sure you check her out and let her know I sent you, honey. But if you have a small business or if you have a product you want to share with the family, look down in the bottom in the description and I'm going to have my email address so we can correspond and get that going so we can share it with the family, honey, because it's all love here. I love uplifting and sharing 
the small business arena because they don't get a lot of love, y'all. We spend all our money in these big box brands that don't nobody know who you are and they really could care less. So shop small business as much as you can. So like I said, if you have one, hit me in the description and I got you, honey. So I love you. I hope you enjoyed this one. I love, love, love doing it. I had a good time and I hope you like the pieces that I found. So, and I'll see you guys next week, God willing, on Thick Chick Thrift, honey. Make sure you like, you comment, and you have subscribed to your girl's channel. And if you hit that notification bell, girl is going to tell you every time I upload a video. So I always make sure I leave my social media links down in the description box. So if you ever need me on across any other platform, you'll know how to find me. So I love you so much. I thank you. I had a good time today, y'all. God is so amazing, but y'all know I wasn't going to leave without talking about the Lord. So I love you. Give him some of your time today. Give him some of your time every day and it will reap. You will reap all the rewards that you deserve, honey, because he's so good. Go ahead and talk to him. I love you, and I'll see you guys, God willing. Make sure you check out the vlog Thursdays. I love you. Bye. We just be thrifting. We just be thrifting. Girl, his hair, this hair is, do I look like I'm from Hawaii? Honolulu, Akawa'u. Yeah, did I just make, yeah, I sound like it too, girl. California. Do I look like I'm California? Or Hawaii? Hey. All right, y'all.